Wait, did you hear that? Wait, what was that? I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me stuck on the side of you. Alright, just got out of lab week five. Today we took some of the lichens that we collected from Jasper Ridge and Arastradero. We weighed them out put some of them in some petri dishes to do some growth experiments, put some of them in some test tubes, uh, which will be sent somewhere, I think, for sequencing. Starting this vlog kind of late, because I didn't realize we were doing this video thing until now. But uh, yeah, see you next week. This might be my time to shine with you, with you, with you. I got my head out this song. We're going to Jasper Ridge today. Yeah, it's it's February 12th, I think. Super excited. Last time I'm going to Jasper, which is sad, but we're going to go check out some cool light here. Yeah, so here we are at Jasper Ridge today. We're going to collect more lichens and also grab the field sensors. Unfortunately, uh, the lichens for the growth experiment have died. They got up to 116 degrees, which apparently is more than you <laughs> I can tolerate. It's actually okay for us since we're actually just studying photosynthetic capacity, but that might be a problem for, uh, for other people, so hopefully they're able to figure something out. Looks like a vernier, right? Yeah, it's a vernier, probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah, so this, this sample right here is actually not a vernier. Um, it's Ramalina. Yeah, just going in. Okay. Yeah, so, so I'll edit in the sound and then we'll go. Okay, so just start walking. Yeah. Wait, did you hear that? Hey, what was that? All right, it's time for our favorite part of lab, data entry. Yeah. Hey, we're heading back now, back to campus after a great day at Jasper Ridge, collecting lichen and grabbing our sensors back. Hi guys, so today we're going to be biking to the dish and collecting some lichen there. Um, this is one of the many sites that we go to to collect lichen. It's going to be very fun. finding individual samples like this one right here and we're using the amount of branching on the thallus of the Avernia to figure out how old it is and then what we're looking for is Ascomata which we're using to measure how how infected they are with little lung and by gathering this kind of data for all the Avernia on this tree we're able to kind of judge the infection rate overall in this area Today we are running our data analysis. 
we're looking at photosynthetic capacity as a dependent variable and we're looking at different factors that affect it. Oh, 30.0. 30? Ooh, this week nine, the class is almost over, so let's talk about some of the results. We were looking at different environmental factors that affect photosynthetic capacity in lichens. And one of the first things we found was that there were pretty clear differences in photosynthetic capacity based on where the lichens were from. But the question is, what is causing those differences in photosynthetic capacity? At first we thought it might have to do with the amount of light that the lichen was exposed to, but we didn't see any significant correlations there. Then we thought maybe it had something to do with the amount of pollution in the environment. So we looked at nitrogen, copper, zinc, and aluminum content inside the lichens, and we did in fact find a significant correlation there, except interestingly it was a positive correlation which suggests that more pollution means better photosynthesis. Now what's probably happening is that nitrogen is what's actually causing the lichens to photosynthesize better, and it just so happens that places where there's more nitrogen pollution, there's also gonna be more metal pollution. But we can't really disentangle those effects without doing an experimental study. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been a great quarter. Thanks for watching.